How you doing? This is Joshua Pendleton with Pendleton Design Management. Uh, I just wanted to show you all something very interesting that I came across on a job that I maintain. Um, I was walking down this path and this subalpine here I've been treating with carbon one for the last two years. And as I'm walking down this path, I notice on the trunk there's just like a thick coating of sap. I don't know if you see how see how shiny it is. It's like, man, where is all that sap coming from? I'm like touching it. I'm like that is like sticky. Like this is pretty recent. Like look how sticky and all this sap is on this tree. I'm like, there's got to be something attacking this tree to cause all the sap to come out. And I start looking, and look at this. It's an infestation of aphids these are crazy huge aphids but I don't know if you notice they're all dead all of them all of them are all dead look at that that's why the natural defense of these subalpines against bugs, beetles, and aphids is basically to excrete, excrete their sap and basically drown the aphids so it kills them. But guess what? Most subalpines are not healthy enough to do that. So when they do that, their cambium layer loses its hydraulics and pressure in the cambium layer and it starts to die because it doesn't have enough energy and sap to kill all the aphids. Well, guess what? This subalpine has been treated with carbon-1 for the last two years and it's got so much sugars and saps and health in it, it, it just annihilated all these aphids that were trying to attack it. So yeah, keep your subalpines healthy carbon one and you won't have to spray pesticides for aphids because they attack them the tree will naturally defend itself and you will have still a nice tree top still good that's how you know because if it doesn't have enough sap or the hydraulics are bad in the cambium layer you can't get sugars to the top and the top starts the candle starts going bad so I'll watch this to make sure the candles not going bad but it's still got enough sugars in there to feed itself but wow this is a cool example of what carbon one can do to uh, help with your subalpines